Not that much. <laughs> I really want to do that thing where you bust the yoke. I have to put the tray underneath. Check it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We never got round to testing this on the beach. It comes with its own little wooden spatula spoon. It's pretty cool. Now this is a bit fiddly. That's designed for easy transport, but the clips feel like they're gonna break. Let's see if we can get it out. What's going on here? Come on. See the wooden spoon can aid us. There you go. And that is your cooking plate. It's quite meaty, it's quite thick, and apparently you can do an egg on this bit. It is! While you're grilling on the rest of it. That's the barbecue part of it. That's just, I don't know, the frisbee for your dog. That's two legs, metal legs, which is good. But they're not plastic and they just clip on. Not like that, but like that. Now I do have a gas that's half used, um, but to give this a true test, I thought I'd use a brand new one, which is what I've got here. So we'll just pull that plug. Oh. <sighs> Please don't be one of those days where everything goes wrong. Hey. <laughs> there we go, brand new cylinder of gas. And that simply clicks with a bit of a twist in there like that. See if you can hear it. Is that it? Let me just double check. Yeah, that's it. Then we've got a little toggle switch here, which also acts as your ignition switch. If you can hear that. Here you go, a few clicks. Can you see that flame? Not that much. <laughs> now, to make this a fair review, because we are using gas and I'm not a wasteful person, as a lot of you guys who follow the channel will already know, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and see how quickly we can get the water to boil. I've got a rich Italian coffee bag. These are lovely, by the way. A camping mug, some water, and a little camp kettle. So I'm going to put it all together and I guess I'll start a timer. If you do purchase something similar, don't use this video as a guide. Read your manual, read your safety instructions. There's quite a lot of them um, in all of these leaflets. I've already done that, obviously. <laughs> One cool thing about this is that, say you're using this to cook on and it's a little bit too hot and the toggle to sort of turn it up and down isn't really doing the job. You can just flip this over and it raises your pan away from the flame. But for boiling water, we want it as close, I think, as possible. Make sure it's level. Get that lip. There you go. Wrong. Wrong. Timer on the screen now. Do it. Not sure how long that's been because I popped inside to get some milk. We are boiling. We are boiling. I'm gonna shut that straight off. Wow, that didn't take no time at all. Wow. It's a big difference when you're doing it, you know, in your garden versus on the beach with 40 mile an hour winds, that's for sure. I know it's the wrong thing to do. I've put the milk in first. Um, just because it makes life easier. I don't know why it's taken hundreds of years for someone to put coffee in a bag where you brew it like a tea but they're actually quite nice. 
Oh yes, can you see that? Wow. Wow, I can smell coffee already. I shared this little trick, if you like, little hack, years ago uh, in one of my sheds on an allotment. So if you ain't got a spoon, just do that with the packaging of the, uh, the, the two in one or the three in one. I think they're Nescafe. Um, oh, coffees, sorry, this is smelling really good. So I've got to leave that to brew for two minutes now. Whoa. So while that's brewing, I'm going to get a few bits and pieces, bacon, sausages, rolls, and I'm going to uh, find an egg as well, just to see how doable it actually is to cook an egg on this part of the tray. Apparently it's non-stick. I think we will still need a little bit of grease on there. <laughs> I think the birds are going to fly out this hedge in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, so far, you know, even if you're not into fishing, but you like camping, or you're going out on a picnic and you want something warm. So far, 45 quid I paid for that, for anyone wondering. Yeah, 45 pounds down from 70 at a place called Go Outdoors. A massive one, a large one. You have to pay five pounds to join up in order to get the discounts, uh, unless you've got a subscriber who uh, lends you their, uh, their card. So I didn't have to pay the five pound fee, which is great. But without that card, I think that would have been about 75 quid. Oh, oh that's hotter than I thought it was gonna be. That's warm. Right, let's set this up. Now this is where it gets a little bit weird. It's designed for easy cleaning, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's a max line just here where my finger is. Can you see that? That's to fill the reservoir with water, apparently making this really easy to clean. Just seems a bit odd doing something like this, but we'll do it anyway. And that is just tap water, guys. that I've just put in the bottle. Wow. And then we add this to the top. Oh no, I do, I guess we do need this thing because it's going to grip our barbecue tray on the top. I wonder if it works the other way around as well. Oh, get in there. Uh, not so much. So I guess that goes on like that. It's great fun. We're learning together. <laughs> and then that's it on there like that. That's not going to shimmy off. Yeah. And then I guess we light it again. Actually, I'll put that on after so I can make sure that it's actually lit. lit and apparently the heat goes up and down and circulates i'm not sure how when it's full of water but we can but try i'm gonna put it this way around i can move the tripod but i'm genuinely curious to see whether or not we can do an egg <laughs> i don't know oh it's a hand warmer that's lovely whoa yeah. Right, while that's doing its stuff, I'm gonna go and get some food. Oh, that is roasting. That's amazing. Wow. Right, so <laughs> I'm, I'm aware I'm a bit close. What I've got, this is lovely and warm now um, to cook. I've got some brioche rolls. I've got some bacon, that was only a pound. This is Iceland. And I've also got some sausages that I'm just um, cutting between, you know, all the twists with a knife. Uh, they were £1.35. Originally £2.25. I'm not going to go into everything going up in price because I'm sure you're all aware. Now in this pan here, which I would ordinarily be using right now to do this kind of cook, 
um, which we don't need to because we've got this. All I'm gonna be using from this pan is an egg because I really wanna see if this will work and the end of a truss of tomatoes just because why not? There's a little bit of sizzle. I will wash my hands in between, guys. Oh, bit of grass on that one. <laughs> now this is curved, so the sausages will probably want to fall off, to be honest. I'm not sure how level I've got this, but it's designed so that all the fat drips down like a George Foreman and goes inside that water, apparently making it really easy to clean. But, oh, we've got some color. We've got some color. We've got some slidiness as well. Wow. Oh, see, that one nearly ran away. Maybe we'll go this way. Oh, it's hot. So another reason I'm using the water following the instructions is because things like sausages and bacon, they can spit fat, causing you know bursts of flame. And because the flame's directly beneath, um, anything that might drip through might increase the temperature. So the water's there to catch those bits of fat before they cause a bit more combustion uh, with the flames. Wow, listen to that. Nice. Right, time to wash my hands. This is cooking really evenly. Oh, and I've got to say as well, for anyone who's wondering, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this myself and I can show you the receipts. <laughs> and that's quite a low heat setting, guys. I could turn it up. We'll turn it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, I wonder, I wonder. Now, ordinarily I'd put a bit of butter on these before toasting them, but I'm just curious. A brioche anyway. So they're quite sweet. So any sugars in there should hopefully caramelize, which would be nice. Not bad, not bad. See, that's cooking a bit too quickly now. Turn it down. Oop. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, can you see that? <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Straight on there with some cherry tomatoes. I just want to see if we can get them to blister, you know, to caramelize some of the sugars that's inside tomatoes. Wow. Really happy with those. They're coming along. Now the camera's making these sausages look burnt. And I can assure you, they are not. They've just got a nice bit of colour on there. This is not your traditional English, you know, beer garden barbecue. Um, I hate those, you know, when you've got undercooked food on the inside and burnt charcoal on the outside. <laughs> That's not just me, is it? <laughs> that avoids those kind of places. Right, so there's my egg and this has not been greased at all, all right? Let's have a go. Ready? Do it so you, so you guys can see it. Ooh, which way is it gonna go? Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> is it gonna be non-stick? <laughs> oh, I hope so. It is non-stick. Wow. Right, the tomatoes are done. Ooh, stay. 
Pop them up there. Sausages are also done. Wow, they're hot. Whoa. Whoa. That'll work. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to use metal on that because that actually is non stick. Can you see that? Wow. Oh, I haven't got a spatula big enough or a wooden spoon. I wanted to get this on top, you know, in one kind of hit. What if we do a bit of that to try and lock in some of that heat just so that we can cook that yolk just ever so slightly. Because remember, we've got water in here as well that is acting as steam at the moment. This looks amazing. <laughs> Let's do this. Wow, check it out. How perfectly that's cooked. Can you see that? Ah, hot. Right, let's get that on there. If it will stay. Let's get our egg. Wow! <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Check that out. That do. And obviously you could have put a lot more food on here. It's not like a barbecue where you're going to smother the, the charcoal. Um, and sort of reduce the uh, temperature. You can just turn this thing up. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. I didn't think it was going to work as well as it has done. That's uh, a decent breakfast, I'd say, in the evening or in the morning, if you're anywhere, camping, in the forest, on a beach, or even on a picnic. That's amazing. <laughs> Although I didn't time it, it took as long as the sausages cook um, in a conventional kind of hob, I'd say, just on your oven. So two buns, toasted, no oil, no butter. We'll go for a bit of bacon. Let's rip that bit off. Woo! Bit of bacon. Go another bit of bacon, why not? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. So bun, bacon, we'll go for a few of those tomatoes in there as well. Sausage, right down the middle, why not? <laughs> and then our egg. I've just picked up, it's gonna go right on top like this. Oh. <laughs> and then quickly, before it all falls apart, our lid. Check it out. I really want to do that thing where you bust the yolk. I have to put the tray underneath. Check it out. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that's good. Mmm. That is so nice. You can get these gadgets all over the place. Again, I'm not sponsored, so there'll be no link in the description, but I did get mine from Go Outdoors with the card for 45 pounds. You don't get gas with it, but you can buy different size canisters depending on your needs, which is pretty good. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one, all right? Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. All that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, man. I've taken the barbecue plate away and this is the fat with the water. And all it says in the instructions is that you can simply pour it away, give it a wipe down and you're good to go. 
exactly where you pour this. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I might just let it settle, skim the fat off, put that in the bin and then put the water down the drain. But not too bad at all. And this part also is detachable, um, but I'm not going to do it at the moment because this is still really hot. Mm. 